Hello everybody, my name is Katie with Green, the Greenland Quilter and I'd like to introduce Crystal and she is going to tell you all about her YouTube channel and introduce herself. Hello, my name is Crystal and my YouTube channel is called Crystal Heart. It's um, a quilt channel. It didn't start off a quilt channel, but it evolved. And um, So we do lives on Friday evenings. We have a Facebook group called Crystal Heart Create and Share, and it's really just a lot of fun. Um, what time on Friday do you have your live? It is 7 p.m. Central. Okay. Okay. So who influenced you to learn how to sew? Ooh. Well, okay. I guess I'll just give you the whole story. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So as a kid, I really, really wanted to sew. So for Christmas, I got a sewing machine. Maybe did a few stitches, put it away, never took it out again. And then over the years, I kind of just wanted to go back, go back, go back to, to sewing. And I would buy sewing machines, but I wouldn't take the time to learn. And then I would donate it and get another one. So um, I have an aunt who is a seamstress. She doesn't quilt. She Actually, I'm influencing her to get into quilting. But um, she was always the only person that I knew who, who sewed anything. So she ended up giving my mom a sewing machine, one of her own old sewing machines. And my mom just had it in a closet. And I was like, I'm taking that sewing machine because I always wanted to sew. <laughs> so I took it and ended up just kind of teaching myself how to sew and YouTube, of course, the school of YouTube. But other than that, there was really no quilters in my family. Okay. When did you begin to piece quilts? How old were you when you finished your very first quilt? Um, I'm not going to age myself. Yeah, but... you don't have to age yourself. You know, just... <laughs> I'm just messing around. Uh, it was either 2017 or 2018, somewhere around no, there. Right around when I started then. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So, yeah, so my first, the first quilt that I pieced was a t-shirt quilt for my daughter, Cameron, out of her school shirts. Nice. That's kind of a tough thing to be taking on as a beginner, isn't it? Well, <laughs> I don't know how to limit myself. So <laughs> <laughs> You just so, like two feet first, right? <laughs> I just, I was like, one day I was like, I want to make a t-shirt quilt. I have this sewing machine here, so YouTube taught me. <laughs> That's quite a challenge for a first-time quilt making. <laughs> now I know it is. Back then, I didn't know. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's okay. Um, <laughs> Let's see. What are your favorite styles of fabric? For me, um, it's all about, I like modern. I'm not a traditional person. Um, color. Colorful, colorful, colorful. I love florals. I love so many different types of fabric, but modern, colorful, floral, uh, graphic, mm, anything like that. And then some like farmhouse style I like, but generally it's the colors that pull me in, pull me in. Okay. So um, do you have a favorite, oops, who is your favorite fabric and pattern designer and why? It pro it would probably go Tula Pink, uh Allison Glass. Nice. And um Camille Roskelly because I just love the whole Nantucket Summer Dwell and all of that. But Tula and Allison, the colors, the prints and the colors grab me. And um then Camille with the uh like farmhousey style, the florals. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. So, but Tula, she she was the first one to grab my heart with those colors. Okay. Um, you mentioned that your quilting style is modern. What about it draws you to being a modern quilter instead of a traditional quilter? Um, actually, like okay, my fabric modern all the way. Okay. The patterns. I kind of 
gravitate towards like traditional like star patterns and stuff. So I can I like a traditional pattern, but more so with a modern fabric. Well, so you want to have that modern look, but uh, but still be able to use the traditional patterns. Yeah, because I like I I love star patterns, love star patterns, and like I'll do a churn. I've done a churn dash quilts, like that kind of stuff. I do like, but I love my you know my colorful modern fabrics that quilt behind you looks like a modern quilt it is <laughs> this is <laughs> actually one of the first quilts that i've like finished the top for and that's the uh lo and behold homecoming it is very modern yeah i like it a lot what is your future quilt project that you really want to pour yourself into um I really want to get more into some applique quilts, more uh, abstract, artsy type quilts is really what I want to do. I want to veer away. I don't want to completely veer away from patterns, but I would like to, you know, dabble in creating more art type quilts rather than just following a pattern. Do you have any other hobbies that you dabble in? is because I don't know how to stop um picking up hobbies along the way <laughs> so I cross stitch um I, I have done painting art uh drawing and stuff like that it's been a while since I've gone back to that um all types of crafts crochet mm, anything that I can create with my hands like DIY projects as well uh furniture re you know restoring or redoing furniture anything that I can do with my hands I'm down for it uh I was a ba a professional baker and cake decorator before I started uh sewing so that was another artistic uh yeah that's a very artistic bit. job yeah yeah how did uh so now we're going to kind of swing into uh, something else for a bit how did you find cotton cuts? Um, I, so, okay. So I mentioned that I do the lives on Friday evenings. I was in a live and somebody mentioned the puzzle mystery quilt and I had never heard of this. So usually when I'm in lives, I'll have my MacBook right there just to search all the things that people are talking about. So I pulled it up and I was like, Ooh, I've never seen anything like this before. As far as the puzzle mystery quilt mm -hmm. side of it. So that's the first, I think that's the first time I had ever heard of Cotton Cuts. So what was your first Cotton Cuts puzzle mystery case? Um, Village Green was the first one that I did. What was your colorway? I did Peony. Yeah, uh, Village Green that. Peony. Yeah. What did you think about uh, the first time doing the puzzle mystery? It was easy um very quick so like even if you fall behind on getting your clue like you get your clues sometimes you put them up and you don't do them and you're like oh my next clue is coming like literally you can just do it because you don't have to measure you don't have to cut you're just piecing and the diagram is so easy to read that um you know you're just matching fabric a fabric a fabric b you know so it's so easy do you or are you like me? You would recommend it even to a beginner? Oh, definitely. So I am a Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilt ambassador for um, the current uh, Puzzle Carnival. Mystery Quilt going on right now, Carnival. So I'm doing Carnival Fortune Teller right now. Um, I would have never became an ambassador if I didn't think that this was like so easy. Matter of fact, my daughter, who's eight years old, she, I signed her up. and she's never completed a quilt. This will be her first quilt because I thought it would be so simple. She doesn't have to cut the fabric. She doesn't yeah. have to measure and do all the quilt math is all just ready for her. She just has to look at the pictures. Yep. Has your culture played a part in how you create a quilt? Uh, honestly, <laughs> it like in the traditional sense, no, because, um, I didn't grow up with quilting. It was never an influence on, you know, 
has that has never been an influence on, on my creative life. Quilting for me is an artistic outlet. And um, so culturally, not as much as just like me and my art artistry. Um, were you aware that quilts were used to help uh, um, navigate African Americans from the South to the North? Mm hmm. Yep. You were probably young when you heard the stories of this. What did you think about that? Honestly, I was not young. <laughs> oh, okay. Thing... Sorry. <laughs> That's like things that That's I learned on my assumption own. assumption from my part. My bad. <laughs> uh that is actually just something that I learned on my own because okay when I when I pick up a new hobby or um art style or whatever I like go head first in I want to know everything about it I don't know what's going on I'm like consumed with it so like that's like something that I learned throughout that process um like I said growing up like quilts I knew nothing about it, nothing at all. It just seemed like some old lady hobby that I didn't know about, you know, like, <laughs> I think all of and I'm, I'm, I mean, now I know different. It's, it's yeah. not, it's, 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 it's not, it really, in my opinion, it's art. Yep. Um, have you ever created a quilt that can be seen as controversial? Hmm. That's a good question. Mm. And maybe all of my quilts can, because in the quilting world, at least, like, I don't think I have any, I'm trying to think, that are controversial, like, not in a political sense or anything like that. Um, In the quilting world, maybe, because I don't do things always the way that you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I kind of just do my own thing. And a lot of times I just figure things out on my own, Um, like, with this quote yeah uh it's not quilting cotton <laughs> more so because i was ignorant to fabric choices but you know like a true quilter would be like why are you using that type of fabric uh things like that i'll just i'll do my own thing and so you're basically quilting, you know, making something outside of the box that's what it sounds like to me right right and that's where i like to live outside of the box yep i'm the same way here right um has any of your quilt friends that you know use their, has any of your quilt friends that you are friends with ever used the love of making quilts to artfully share parts of their culture, even if it makes other people uncomfortable? Um, so I don't have a whole lot of quilt friends, but there is besides, you know, online, yes, but, um, there is a quilt shop that me and Rebecca, Rebecca is um, that crafty life. She has a YouTube channel. Me and Rebecca go to this uh, quilt shop for, it's like a block and a month type thing. Mm -hmm. And there's a class to teach you how to do the block. And then they do show and tell. And there is a group. Um, it's like a, a African-American group, kind of like a quilt guild and they created a collaboration um, quilt. And uh, and I really wish I, I would have taken pictures of this quilt. Yeah, but the quilt, <laughs> the quilt was nice. And I think one of the girls that's in that group is subscribed to my channel. I need to ask her if she has a picture. The quilt was nice. Um, I would say, it. Well, I don't think it was... Uh, I don't know if you say controversial, but it, I don't think it was that, but it, it showed culture for sure. I, and it was just applique here. You know, it was, it was, I love that quote. I, I should have took pictures. I'm gonna have to see if I can get a, a picture okay, of that That quote. would be great. Um, yeah. Have you considered talking to your daughters as you're teaching them the quilting about things that might be cultural, culturally incorporated into their quilting? Uh yeah. Like we we homeschool here, so as far as anything goes, we bring our culture and not just in the aspect of African American. Um I'm from Louisiana, I'm Creole heritage, so that is pretty much 
a culture on its own. So my my goal is to bring that aspect of my life more into my art as time, you know, passes. Do you bring it into your cooking as well? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> There's quite a bit of history there for the Creoles, for sure. <laughs> I really love gumbo. It's just... Oh, mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> um, what colors do you enjoy the most when you're making quilts? Ooh, that's hard because I love color. Um, The brighter, the better for me. So like the bright pinks. Um, I love a mermaid palette, the pinks, the turquoise, and the um, purples, but also I love a rainbow palette. I love anything colorful, which is hard because my house is not decorated colorful, so I make things that I don't know what to do with. Yeah, it's okay. That's what being creative does. Right. Are there any quilt patterns out there that you have a strong desire to make? Um... So I've been doing uh, English paper piecing. There's a quilt called, uh, is it Inner Cube? I think it's called Inner Cube. I love that quilt and it's going to take a long time to do, but I I, I think it's going to be my next EPP project. Sounds like fun. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us that we haven't talked about? Oh. Uh well, I guess I can uh promote my charity project. <laughs> yeah, please if do. You don't mind me uh, no, plugging that in. No, please do. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I wasn't aware of. So yes, please share. Okay, so on my channel, uh, I call my subscribers the gems. So the gems and I have been working on these charity quilts. They, it, I call it the Orphan Block Project, and they have been sending me um all their orphan blocks and. I've been piecing them into whole quilts. Then we have some of the gems that are uh, that have signed up to help with the quilting process. And then we just donate it to whatever, whoever is the last person to touch the quilt can decide where it goes from there, who it gets donated to, Project Linus or any other, um, any other place, hospitals, wherever, uh, shelters. So um, if you're interested in helping, we're oh, always it might be a good excuse to use some of my I have some but I have some fabric I have no idea what to do with it. <laughs> well there you go <laughs> <laughs> but it's been kept I took good care of it so. okay so now here comes the fun part I'm gonna do rapid fire oh goodness what they call <laughs> rapid fire anyway okay the first one is Share five tips for beginner quilters that you think would help them become better quilt makers. Okay. One, don't stress. Two, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Three, <laughs> um, immerse yourself if you really want. Immerse yourself into the art. Because there, even though I do what I want, you know, as far as piecing things together, it, it is beneficial to learn why certain things are done. And yeah. so immerse yourself. Um, try not to buy all the fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, let's see. You don't need everything to start. Start with what you have. Okay. Okay, the next one is share five notions that you think all beginner quilt makers should have on hand in the beginning. Um, let's see, pins or clips. Pins or clips, mm, at least one good ruler, a uh, good size ruler. Um, start off with a long, a long one, and then you can add to the collection. Uh, a good rotary cutter with a good blade. How many did you say? Five. So that's three so <laughs> Okay, that far. was three. Um, uh, I guess you would need a sewing machine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you said notion. You did say notion. Yeah. Um, and, and iron. You need mm -hmm. to iron at those fabrics, girls. Iron those fabrics, ain't guys. And, uh, hmm. 
a cutting mat. You need a mat yep. to cut your fabric on. Okay. Now the last one is, can you give a new beginner any good advice that you can share that can be shared with them to help them um, stay motivated and, you know, continue to learn how to make quilts? Um, what advice would you give them? I would say, uh, one, make the things that you enjoy making. Uh, you don't have to follow and just do, you know, all the block of the months or the quilts alone, which could be helpful to keep you on track, but do what, make what interests you, what makes you happy, you know, and, um, take your time. You don't have to finish a quilt and, you know, we, when we're, we're making YouTube videos and it looks like a quilt is made like that, it's not. So take your time and, you know, patience, patience. Okay, so that is all. Is there anything else you want to talk about? No. <laughs> okay, then. Thank you for coming to my interview. And I can't wait for everybody to learn all about you. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching when you do watch the video. And have a great day.